dances for the big guy. <laughs> He's joking around. And boom. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. If you've never been here before, welcome aboard. I go through movies, news, documentaries, Netflix series, Netflix originals, and I do book reviews. And today's book review, I bring you Zucked, Waking Up to the Facebook Catastrophe. And this is written by Roger McNamee. And I've uh, I've really enjoyed this book. I'm blown away at the access of data that Facebook has. Facebook is gigantimonious. It has the potential reach for about 2 billion people on the planet. There's only about 8 of us. Um, so that's through Instagram. If you didn't know, Instagram is owned by Facebook and WhatsApp and Facebook itself. Three huge things between 2 billion people is uh, ish. And so the beginning of the book, it starts with Roger and how he has met Zuck. And it was a weird meeting. Zuck is very cold, calculated, very uh, um, unsociable. And he takes really long to answer questions and he thinks long and hard about it. So that's kind of like the beginning of it. And then it talks about how, uh, how Facebook pretty much became the most dominant platform in 15 years. Usually it takes a while. Like Johnson & Johnson's huge. Took like, I don't know at least more than 15, probably 30, I don't know, but it grew so quickly and its usership was grown exponentially due to the fact that it uses persuasive technology. And what I mean by persuasive technology is that it was engineered to create habitual um, activity. So when you come back, it it gives you rewards and it gives you notifications and it prize or it thrives on our human um, psychology and our behavior and our inclination for reciprocity or fear or outrage. So it uses those three, four, five things or whatever. And um, that behavior is instilled in us and it it's kind of like pulling a slot machine. That's part of the the explanation. So that's when like you click onto Instagram and the thing opens and it turns all white and you look at the small heart down there and then you get to see all of the likes. Like it's kind of like a, a roll, like the roll of a, a slot. So that is created that way. And it also talks about filter bubbles. Filter bubbles are one of the, um, it's almost like a, it's a social avatar and you're more likely to do things in an echo chamber. So a filter bubble is what creates the echo chamber. I know like an echo chamber is where you don't get any outside information. You're just reinstilled with the information you already agree with. You don't come in contact with it, with any disagreeable information. Yes. So filter bubbles are these things used to keep you on site. Keeping you on site is the main focus of Facebook because you are not the you are not the customer you are the product. So advertisers are the customers. So they're trying to sell you things while you're on site. And that is the the business model of Facebook. It's to sell you, your data, your information in order to get you to buy things or more likely to buy things. And this is what's very, very crazy is that Facebook will buy up all, it already has all this data on you. Excuse me. And it cross-references all the other data that's available, like your purchase behavior, um, your car registrations. Um, so you'd be more inclined to like, if you are if you own a Jeep, you'd be more likely to buy a Jeep, stuff like that. So it cross-references all of that. And then it uses all of that for advertisers, which is crazy because it's so articulate. Or it's so precise. So like, even if you have a Z, like it'll, it, you can target zero to six or parents of zero to six year olds, you know, like, so you'd be more likely to um, buy a crib or something like that or baby clothes, you know, and it's on uh, through geolocation on your cell phone. So it's not just Facebook that it goes over. It goes over Instagram. It goes over Google. And one of the most um, crazy things that I heard about or read, I actually listened to the audiobook, so I heard it. So Google, you know, the CAPTCHA software where it tells or it's supposedly until I read this book, I, I thought. It was to see if you're a human being or not. So you're not trying to get um, access to the information on the opposite side of that account. But no, it's always buses and street signs and street lights. 
and it's for Google self-driving cars. It's collecting masses amount of data that way to use the data for an ulterior motive without us knowing. So that was creepy. Um, so yeah, it goes into filter bubbles. It goes into the um, caption. It goes into Cambridge Analytica, which I knew about, but I didn't realize the depth in which it was so devised. The plan was devised to spread misinformation and manipulate people who are most likely to be manipulated. Um, so this was a crazy book. Uh, I'm trying not to repeat myself because I recorded this once and I'm trying to not repeat myself, even though I just repeated that I was repeating. So um, I'm trying to remember what I went through and what I haven't hit on. Um, oh, one thing, the malpractices in which Facebook began. So he starts with the, the motif of Facebook is always moving fast and breaking things and it apologizes after. So it doesn't ask for permission. It just apologizes after and it's like, okay, we're sorry. We won't do this anymore. So that is their motif. And the question is, is Zuckerberg just like this unlucky guy who has this humongous platform now and he's just created a great business? I would say no, because all of the malpractices and um, engineered tactics that he's put into Facebook and in the past that he's retracted. For one, Beacon. Beacon is... Um, it's a failed project that Facebook put forward that sounds like most ridiculous thing. It shows your online behavior without you confirming that it's allowed to be shared. So that includes your purchase behavior. So if you were to, let's say, an example is this man buys a wedding ring from Jared, but it happens to be a special sale. So you get to see the price. You get to see that it does it. And it's sent out to all of his friends list, including his mother-in-law, his sister, all of the people. And they all know before she's even aware of it. And he has no idea. And he hasn't confirmed that this purchase behavior is allowed to be shared. So they do that. Um, the manipulative um, engineering of the persuasive technology and... Um, the uh, another malpractice was it was so it's so hard to get off of Facebook at the very beginning of Facebook it was you had to delete photo indi photos individually so you had to go through a photo delete a photo delete that would get very monotonous if you had a thousand photos then they retracted that they were like okay we're sorry we won't do that anymore because people were outraged or outraged so then they have the weird um, like your FOMO um, exit so they have like pictures of your kin next to it and said hey they will miss you or your best friend it's like hey trevor will miss you or andrew will miss you blah 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 they're gonna they're gonna miss you on facebook so it's like to manipulate you to stay on and think twice about deleting your account because you are the product so this was a crazy book loved it um i work with facebook advertising so it's very very cool but also terrifying at how much the sheer amount of data that they have. Um, so yeah, that was Zucked. Let me know if you have any questions about the book. I was enthralled by it. It was crazy. Um, and it's, um, I listened to the audiobook, So it's explained by the author himself, which I do care for. I'm, I prefer the author rather than just a, a voiceover artist. So thank you so much. That was Zucked. Um, waking up to the Facebook catastrophe. Let me know if you have any questions. what do you think of the book? Do you want to get it? And it's brought to you by Audible, this podcast. So you can get your free book. I would recommend this book if you wanted to just try Audible, listen to it down in the description. Um, or you can go to audibletrial.com forward slash American and you can get a free book that way. Um, and if you want to start your own podcast, check out socialcreative.org forward slash podcast. Um, the link is in the description as well. Um, so yeah, it's all the information you'd ever need to know in order to get your podcast started. So recommend both of those and this book. Um, so thank you so much. Matthew Benjamin with the American Movie Podcast. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. After all, someone has to pay for the uh, lap dances for the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking around. <laughs> yeah. so